Are you ready to expand and grow your business to the next level? Well, let me tell you how you can do that. That's what we're going to talk about today is how to activate your creative power centers, your creative power centers. So stay tuned. I'm going to tell you all about that. So hi, I'm Laura West, CEO of the Center for Joyful Business. I'm a creative mindset and business success coach, an author, a speaker, and your host for the Joyful Business TV show. So for over 20 years, I have been helping conscious, um, creative, sensitive, and ambitious entrepreneurs who want a different way to run their business that is not about soul-crushing strategies. It's not about 24-7 hustle. It's about finding soul-nourishing strategies in a way that you can be authentic and show up with your unique, beautiful brilliance to create meaningful work in the world where you also get to make great money. It is totally possible to have a conscious business where you have uh, marketing strategies, what we call conscious marketing strategies, where you treat people like they're human beings, right? They're humans. You're human and you're real. And so that's what we talk about here. We also talk about how to use your passion, your purpose, and your beautiful brilliance in order to create your marketing, to create your message, and to get your mojo going in the morning when you get up. So I deeply, deeply believe that you are designed to flourish, that we just need to find out what's getting in the way from your flourishing so that we can release the possibilities. All right, that's what we're gonna do here. So if you are here live on the show, on Joyful Business TV, for the, well, here's how it works. The first 30 minutes, I'm gonna share about our topic, and then I'm gonna turn off the, re after that 30 minutes, I'm gonna turn off the recording, and I'll be here for 30 minutes where we can just have nice, rich connection, conversation. You can ask me any questions about your business, about my business, about Creative Power Centers, and we will talk about that. All right, so today I am gonna talk about how to go to the next level, how to expand your business, grow your business to the next level of success, of impact, of creative expression, meaningful work, money, by activating your creative power centers. So your creative power centers are um, 10 areas in your business that you can put your attention, attention and intention on so that you, when you expand them, it impacts all the other areas in your business. So um, I'm gonna give you a quick peek of what this looks like. Let me share my screen here. All right, here's a, a quick peek. Um, I'm gonna go in this in more detail, but I'm gonna be off and on my screen here if you can see it. If you're listening to this, on audio, don't worry, I'm gonna go through all of this. You're not missing anything when you can't see the visuals, but it's kind of nice to see the visuals. Um, this is the model that I've been working with for over 12 years now called Your Creative Power Centers. And um, basically there are 10 creative power centers that you can activate that will start that expansion energy uh, going on in your business. And then there's four cornerstones that you can lean into. All right. So let me tell you about <clears throat> let me tell you about the most um, important thing about creative power centers. It's not even about creative power centers. Actually, it's a it's in the creative power center model, but it is about your business. And with this model that I've been working with, the number one thing that is your foundation to absolutely everything as an entrepreneur, absolutely everything in your business absolutely everything in your life, quite honestly, <laughs> has to do with your personal energy. It is the foundation. And so everything, if you want to activate any area of your business and grow any area of your business, you really got to pay attention to your personal energy system. Now, I did a whole show on your personal energy system. There are seven different personal energy systems. Uh, I won't go into them all here, but things like your mental physical, environmental, spiritual, uh, emotional, things like that. So I talk in great detail about each one of those on another episode. So be sure to stay tuned. But what makes logical sense, you know this, right? Is if you're tired, if you are not feeling connected to your purpose, if your environment is all 
filled with stuff and you don't have a place to work properly or there's something not working properly your computer's not working properly it makes it really hard to grow your business right if you don't have the energy um so anyways like i said i did a whole show on this because that's how passionate i am about uh, paying attention to your personal energy system it is the foundation for the creative power center model the next piece that you want to have in place um, or at least visit regularly i'll put it that way and it's at the top of the model right so you've got the personal foundation is what holds everything and then the top of the model which is what guides everything and that is your vision all right what is your vision for your business and what is your vision for your life and the two go hand in hand you know they do go hand in hand because your vision for your life is going to inform how you want to run your business and your your vision for your business supports your life so the two you want to spend some time with both of them now what i what i know about vision is that years ago decades ago we used to be able to create this vision for how we wanted our business to be and um, we could fill in a lot of detail pretty easily the thing that is really present in our world now is that there's so much uncertainty and so much fast change that it's kind of hard to vision uh, with super great detail so don't worry if you're fe not feeling like you're connected to the detail especially after all the shifts and change we've gone through as we've been going through the pandemic um, and then all the things that have been impacted by that so but you want to spend some time reflecting on your vision your vision um, guides you and um, so everything from um, the kinds of things you want to do what you want to create what kind of business do you see what kind of money do you want to be making how many people do you want to be reaching what kind of work do you want to be doing in what formats you know do you want um, to be making a million dollars do you want to be making six figures do you want to have just a really good uh, bringing in a few thousand dollars a month um, to supplement um, during your what we call retirement the non-retirement years <laughs> all right so you want to get really clear about that and visit and it's really important because it guides everything else if you don't get some of those pieces in place about your vision then everything looks good as far as growing your business and it's really hard to make decisions and commitments about what to do um, what kind of coach to hire what kind of programs to take what kind of training what decisions to make what kind of investments to make in your business when um, you know if you don't know if you're not clear about your vision part of your vision also includes who do you want to be so that is a big huge part that informs your vision what kind of leader do you want to be um, what kind of creative expression you know expression do you want to have what is your message you know things like that so we're going to get more into some of those details as we look through the creative power centers but the creative power centers again the bottom the foundation that you need to have in place is the personal energy where you're guided at the top of the, of the model is with your vision then we look at the creative power centers there's 10 of them imagine if you will um, you're in the hub in the very middle and then you're surrounded by 10 circles all the way around and um, you're not going to activate all 10 of these at one time that's impossible but this is such a great um, exercise to do to check in uh, periodically and say okay what's going on in my business in these different creative power centers where is my energy leaking and where you know where is my energy naturally going to and so sometimes you can uh, use what's natural for you and amp that, amp, that, amp that up and sometimes you need to look at some different um, creative power centers um, to be able to support that so I'm going to share my screen again so that you can see what I'm talking about if you are live and I'll walk you through it if you're listening to this on audio so there's 10 different creative power centers it starts at the top with what I call guiding goals and your guiding goals um, you take your vision your vibrant vision and then you look at your guiding goals and you do want to get clear you might be goals you might use the words intentions like what are your intentions with your business that means you know anything from the next 90 days to you know this year to three years five years you may have some 10-year goals right I was just speaking with a potential client yesterday and she's really clear like here's where I'm at now here's what I would build in the next couple of years and 
I'm looking at retirement, you know, my husband's looking at retirement in 10 years and I'm looking at retirement in 15 years. And so she's really thinking about her business and her life and how she wants to make decisions based on setting that up. But your guiding goals might be things like you want to build your list. Um, usually it has to do with attracting clients, certain number of clients, making money, things like that. Um, if you don't have those, that's a great place to activate. Okay. The next creative power center is your personal brand and message. And this is a place I always go to with my clients at the very beginning as well, because if you're not clear about your message and uh, the next one, which is your soul tribe, if you're not clear about those, then your marketing is not going to have as great of an impact. So the better you, you know, the more clear you can get on um, who you are, which is your personal brand um, and your message and who you want to work with, then you want to, um, that's going to inform everything else. So activating those areas are really going to help. Now I'm going to pause because um, the Creative Power Center model has four different cornerstone um, energies that you can lean into, uh, the really actions that you can lean into. And one is trust, one is courage, the third one is commitment, and the fourth one is action. So in order to activate these creative power centers, you, you might need to draw in, you know, trust, courage, commitment, action. Okay. Um, all right, your next creative power center is your authentic, bold, creative marketing. Authentic, bold, creative marketing. I call that ABC marketing. So this is not your just any old marketing. There's something about when you activate, um, of course, being authentic, right? Really being lined up with your beautiful brilliance and bringing your strengths, your gifts, your personality into your marketing. That's what's going to make it work. Being bold, being, you know, leaning into that courage there, being willing to go a step further out and then being creative, you know, using your creativity in your marketing to do it a little bit different, right? Or in a way that is really natural for you that might be different from somebody else. All right. The next creative power center is about leadership and visibility. And lots of times people will be in the growth mode and they get all the basics in place and they're starting to grow and get people on their list, starting to work with more clients. And there comes a point where you need to step into, be willing to commit, another one of those cornerstones, courageously, another cornerstone, right? And step into your leadership and your visibility. So being willing to be a leader with a message of your, um, that is about um, who, you know, what it is that you're doing in the world. What is your business to stand for? What is the solution that you are providing this unique opportunity for people to be able to work with you and be able to be willing to be visible in that leadership, um, which means everything from putting your voice out there um, through speaking, through writing or videos, whichever method is your authentic, bold, creative marketing method, right? You see how these are all interconnected together. So when you activate one, you start activating the others. I do a lot of work with people around this uh, leadership and visibility creative power center. Again, we get the basics in place. We start working on the marketing and it usually leads to a lot of blocks with the leadership and visibility, being willing to be seen, be willing to get your voice out there, being willing to claim your voice in a, a richer, deeper, more authentic way than maybe you ever have before. All right. Another area that you want to look at in your business, a creative power center is packaging your expertise. Um, so again, you want to get away from uh, working hour for hour with your clients and start looking at how can you put together packages or maybe programs. Eventually, you may want to put together products. Um, there's all different ways to package your expertise, membership programs, retreats, workshops, um, all sorts of types of different types of events. Um, but you want to have some basic packages in place if you're new. And then if you're more seasoned, you want to take a look at those and say where, you know, what needs to change? What needs to change with that? Is it your pricing? Is it um, maybe now you're ready to claim your signature system? And that comes in to packaging your expertise. So at the beginning, you tend to uh, do your work and then you start realizing you have a system. You have a method that you tend to take people through 
and you start bringing that into your packages and your offers and your services. And that's how you can start leveraging and scaling your business, growing your business in a bigger way. All right. Um, the next one is, this is a big one for a lot of people, is your success support team. So looking at your success support team and um, do you have one, <laughs> first of all, um, especially if you're an entrepreneur, it's, you know, as an entrepreneur, you have to wear many, many hats. And um, when you're starting out, you do have to be, you know, the expert at what you do and the cheap bottle washer. You know, if you want to have a clean coffee mug, right? <laughs> you got to clean the coffee mug. Um, you know, you're handling your IT, you're handling, you know, you may be handling some of your bookkeeping. Um, you know, you might be writing your newsletter and putting it together in the back end system, setting up your back end systems, um, all sorts of things. As you want to, to grow your business, right? This is what we're talking about. Going to the next level means that you're going to need to look at a support team. And so what does that look like? You know, and so where are the areas? Again, I always go back to where's your energy leaking? Okay. And so if your energy is leaking because you're trying to make all your own website changes and it takes you six hours to do this and a whole lot of torture and frustration and anxiety and just, you know, you get the idea with that. Um, wow, what if you hired somebody who could help you with that? You might be able to do that in 20 minutes because they already know how to do it. You know, they already know the method. There is no learning to it. Um, you know, you want to be, there's a difference between knowing how to do something like in the back end and every single detail and knowing what needs to be done. Okay. And what you're capable of. And, um, so you want to look at that success support team area. Now you also might have a success support team in, um, maybe getting your videos up online, you know? I'm good at doing the videos, but I want somebody else to handle that, you know? And with each level, as you're growing, you wanna have a support team that um, is supporting you in bigger ways. And um, I'll do a whole show actually on probably on almost each one of these, but I know coming up on the success support team. You also wanna look at your personal success support team. You know, who do you need to help you with everything at home? Because as your business starts to grow, and you know you just don't have time for everything. It's come back to your personal energy. If you're leaking through your personal energy and you're really tired and overwhelmed and stressed, what are some things that you can hand off to people who do that really well? You know, anything from somebody to mow your grass. Um, you know, I had a client where we coached around hiring a 12 year old to mow her grass because it just something she didn't have to worry about each day, you know, each week. And um, she could do other things like joining a gym and doing things that she wanted to do that were more physically active, but felt better for her. Um, it might be hiring a personal assistant to come to your house and just do things around the house to take care of things, you know, take care of the returns, empty the cat litter box, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, making you some food, um, things that are, you know, where there are areas that are important to you, but yet, um, again, you can't do everything. So this is a big one that's coming. It's coming up with a lot of my clients. So I'm spending a lot of time here. Another creative power center is your systems and planning, right? Your systems and planning. And this is one that it's funny because a lot of people will um, rebel, <laughs> put it this way, because I work with a lot of creative rebels, right? They you know, left corporate or they're, you know, they want to grow their business in a different way, right? That's the whole reason why they're working with me is they want it to be different. They want it to be more authentic. They want to have more creative expression. They want to do meaningful work. And number one is they want to have a lot of freedom. Almost everybody I work with, number one is they want freedom, freedom with time, freedom with money, um, you know, financial freedom, freedom with their voice, their creative expression. So um, here's the thing I learned in the first couple of years. You know, I was like that when I first started over 22 years ago. And I was like, don't box me in. I don't want systems. You know, I wanted to, you know, I came from corporate. I wanted this freedom to do it my way, any way I wanted to. And that is true. You can do it your way, any way you want it to. And you want to find systems for how to support you in doing it your way, any way you want to right? Systems are your friend. So now one of my mantras is systems are sexy, sexy systems. 
Um, systems help you, you know, like if you wake up at three in the morning and you say, oh my gosh, did that get done? Or, um, oh, I got to remember this. Systems help you so that you don't have to worry about waking up at three in the morning and worrying about that. So systems, everything from having a um, project management system like Asana or, or Basecamp or something like that, um, systems for how you onboard clients, you know, so that it's like, this is what we do first, second, third, fourth, it's all ready to go. Different forms of bios so that um, your speaker bios, you know, short form, medium, long, so that you can use in different ways. They're labeled, they're ready to go. Your photos are organized. Your team knows how to get to your photos and which photos for which purpose. All these different little things. Um, you know, what is the system for getting your newsletter out or your email communications? What is your system for your TV show or your podcast, right? Um, so systems are sexy. And here's why I say that is because when you think about when you feel sexy, right? Like walking across the room and you know that you're looking good today, right? You're just, and you're feeling good, most importantly. And you feel good. So you've got that little swagger in your step, right? You've got that little, um, there's just a difference in the energy that you project and the way that you hold yourself. That's what systems will do for you is that you just don't have to worry. And so you actually get more freedom by having those systems. Another part of that is planning. I'm a big believer in planning, although um, to me, planning, reflection all comes together that um, you need to have built in time, scheduled time to be able to revisit your business and say, what's going on today? What's going on this week? What do I want to have happen this month for 90 days for this year and then beyond? And um, I talk with my clients how to have these uh, reflection times and planning times because you need to be, you know, you can't always be working on the business and delivering things. You have to have some time where you're like, is this working? Is this not working? How do I create a system around this, right? Going back to the systems. What kind of support do I need? If you want to activate these other creative power centers, create a list builder, create a new marketing plan, launch a new offer, you need to have systems and planning time. All right. Um, the next one is money and abundance, right? And most all of my clients, well, I do this lots of times. I do this in my retreats, uh, personal retreats. Um, I'll do this in uh, the larger group retreats that I do. And money and abundance is a funny one because a lot of people will walk all around it. You know, we, we put them on the floor, this whole model, we put them on the floor and do this. And they'll walk all around money and abundance and ignore it, but yet it's the one that they most want, right? And they're just like, oh, I know I have to go over there. Lots of times it's a have to, or they'll go stand over there and say, okay, I know I need to, to activate this, but I'm terrified, right? So this is great to look at these creative power centers and notice where you're resisting, where it's leaking. So money and abundance, this includes everything from how much money are you making? How much money do you want to make? How much profit? Um, you know, what are your expenses? How much profit? You know, being clear about those numbers. Um, I track my numbers all the time. I can tell you exactly where I'm at for the year at any given point in time. Um, not because I am money hungry or, or whatever you, you know, like that is just old. That's actually scarcity thinking by putting judgments on money. Uh, money is a neutral energy and you can be just as excited about money as you are about delivering your um, amazing work. You can be just as excited about, you know, wisdom, intuition, spirituality as you are your leadership. Money is just one more part of it. But you do want to look at having an abundance mindset. And so um, I do a lot of work in shifting because it's not a natural place. It's not hard. We're not hardwired necessarily for abundance. We're hardwired um, to be afraid of, you know, how are we going to survive? And we can get really triggered into survival mode. And so we want to shift from that survival scarcity mode to thriving, to flourishing, to an abundance mindset. So I do a lot of work around that because an abundance mindset, again, these are all related. It goes back to your vision. It impacts uh, your personal brand and message. It impacts your marketing. You know, if you're coming from scarcity in your marketing, people can feel that. They know that. If you're coming from abundance, it just has a whole different energy. So part of it is energy. Part of it is super practical. All right. The last one um, for your uh, for the creative power centers is your wisdom and intuition. 
And this one, you know, it may seem very different than the um, your usual um, money place or um, business uh, creative power centers, but wisdom and intu intuition is incredibly important. Um, you know, I had a client the other day and we were coaching around this because this is where you make decisions. This is where um, ideas come in, right? This is where your creativity blossoms from, you know, being connected to your, um, to the, the greater, you know, universal flow or what I call the universal abundance current where ideas come to you through your intuition. You have this wisdom um, that you want to be able to channel in and tap into. And it helps you with making decisions. It helps you with making commitments. It helps you to activate the other creative power centers. It, um, so it's, it's really an important area to activate if you have it. Now, I know a lot of my clients, they would love to spend all day long in wisdom and intuition. And, you know, I'm there too. I love that place. And so, again, these are all connected. So if you have a really fine sense, you know, honed, well honed sense of wisdom and intuition, then you can use that in other areas. What does your wisdom and intuition tell you about your soul tribe, about packaging um, and your offers? So these are all very interrelated. All right, you just got a crash course. <laughs> I'm gonna stop sharing this slide here. Um, you just got a crash course in uh, the Creative Power Center. So I spend, you know, a lot of time with this in my retreats. Um, this is something that my clients go back to. If you're in the studio, we have a special call where we go into great detail about it. Um, and if you're listening or watching, you know, what I, where I would point you is as you've heard these 10 creative power centers is to think about, you know, what is one that you could look at right now and just notice, you know, which ones are you resisting? Which ones call to you? The ones that call to you, is that because um, you love doing it or that it needs your attention? And it's just good to know. Or is it something you're resisting? You know, like I said, a lot of people resist that money and abundance one, even though that's what they really want. And when you dare to go to the money and abundance and then use the four cornerstones, it's an incredibly powerful exercise. It really is its own assessment in itself. And so I get my clients to do this. It's, it's great to be part of your reflection um, and planning time to do this once a quarter and just kind of take a fresh look at it. All right. Um, so thank you for coming today. I really am so glad that you are here and have been listening or watching. Um, where I want to point you to before we wrap up, um, I love to do this at the very end, is to encourage you to think about where is your joy flowing in your business? All right. Joy is a productivity tool. And what I mean by that is that when you are in your joy, when you are feeling good, when you're feeling aligned, when you're feeling confident, um, it's an expansive energy, right? It means that you, um, it's easy to write the email. It's easy to come up with the new packages. It's easier to look at your money when you're in your joy, right? Than when you're in a more constricted energy. So a great exercise is to do joy flow sightings and look for, uh, write down three things that are going really well in your business right now, right here, right now. Maybe it's a success that you want to acknowledge. Maybe it's a decision or a commitment that you've made. Um, to help move your business forward. Maybe it was a brave way you responded to a client. Uh, maybe there's a way that you're expanding and maybe you just had a kick-ass coaching session or um, you had some time with a client where you know you did amazing good work. So you wanna write that down and every day write down three things, three joy flow sightings. And it is, you know, studies have shown that when you focus on that, it's like you focus and expand broaden and expand um, your joy, it has a ripple effect, right? Just what we were talking about. It gives you, puts you in a better mood, it puts you in the highest vibration around love, beauty, enthusiasm, passion, uh, gratitude, uh, self-authority, and that is super high expansion vibration, right? And then that, you can use that energy to um, do other things in your business, right? Write the newsletter, do the videos, and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. Please come over to joyfulbusiness.com and we always have a free gift and lots of resources for you over there. And you can also check us out on Facebook, uh, our Facebook group, which you just search for Joyful Business Community and you can join us over there. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's episode and look forward to seeing you on another episode. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching this episode of Joyful Business TV. I want to invite you to get more creative strategies and support for growing your business. You can start right now by activating your abundance mindset with a really powerful creative visualization that will help you get into the universal abundance current, one of my favorite things to do. And you'll also get a companion seven day journal that will help you create a daily habit of co-creating with the universe. These are two powerful resources that you can get started right now to help grow your business and activate that, that abundant mindset. You just go over to activateabundancegift.com.